Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. We're a couple days before Christmas. We're going to get some Christmas crappie. We've got a great guest. We're fishing at Cave Run with my good buddy Chris Mann. You know, I enjoy spending time on the water with Chris. It's always good conversation. Just a great guy to be around and one heck of a fisherman. Him and his dad, of course, have won national championships, national points championships, and we're on his home lake today. It's going to be cold. It's going to be a little bit windy, but we'll see what we can do. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with brush pile fishing. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the deep south in search of the best lakes, techniques and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country. Right here on brush pile fishing. Hey folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing here at Cave Run. We're just a couple days away from Christmas, but we have beautiful weather. I'm with my great friend, Chris Mann from uh, Crappie Magnet. Chris, we were talking just a minute ago, the thing that I cannot fathom right now is we're down here getting ready to go out. You cannot hear anything. Right. There's no nature, there's nothing going on. Quiet, super quiet. So I hope we can uh, shatter the quiet with some fish <laughs> catches here shortly. So. I, I could settle for that. Now, we're, like I say, a couple days from Christmas. Can you tell the folks what we're gonna be doing and what pattern we're chasing today? Certainly. Um, the fish for us move up here in the winter time and get around the edge of these channels. They're chasing bait fish. Um, right now, a lot of fish in the water column you're gonna see today. Uh, between the bait fish, the small fish, it's just going to seem like everything's going on up here. A lot of life. Um, we're going to be targeting individual bigger fish. Uh, if not, we would catch so many dinks, so many small okay. fish throughout the day. So uh, we're going to kind of target them. Okay. Uh, we're going to use shorter rods today. I'll be using the five and a half foot uh, sharpshooter by b and uh, I think it looks like you've got an eight and a half foot, your own uh, sponsored model. Um, and we're going to use crappie magnets today, okay. and they will be tipped with slab bites. So every drop that, that I throw down, I don't know, I can't speak for you. I if use you, them I, all the time. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's going to work for us today, I got a feeling, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So. All right, dude, it's always a pleasure fishing. I can't wait to get on the water. You ready to do it? Yes, sir, let's do it. Cave run, here we go, folks. one good fish and all that and all that stuff and that's kind of the way this goes you know you just gotta gotta figure out where he's at and how to present to him and that, I mean that's real typical of what you'll see today as we run out just dozens and dozens of little fish and one one worth full and we have to have the whole crew it's got to be patient when they get like that Man, there's a good one right there. It's way down there though. There we go. First one of the morning. Not a monster, but gets us going. Little white crappie. And you said we're gonna have to weed through some small ones today to get some of the yeah, better fish because there's just so many down here. A lot of numbers. We're seeing a ton of bait fish this morning on the graph and a lot of small fish in the water column. So, but that's good news. So. Throwing these slab bites on there, folks. And if you've watched some of our shows here lately, man, I love using these things. Russ, I've kind of taken the attitude with, uh, with slab bites that, uh, uh, man, they, they don't hurt the cause any at all. Uh, they're they're just a great product and they they help so many times you know yep um, if you just joined us folks we're talking christmas crappie here on cave run uh, we're just a couple days away from christmas we've got some pretty stable weather and uh, no better thing to do than try a little fishing what you got there bud oh there's a nice one now 
What kind of limits do they have here, size-wise and numbers? Uh, 20 a piece, 20, 20 a piece, uh, and no size limit on them. So that's a good one. That's that's a good frying fish that's there. A good just. One. Uh, Great, great presentation. Good job. Oh, I got it. Good one. Look at that. Good job, man. Good job. Not a bad fish. Yeah. Fall a little bit harder than what he was. Man, look big man. What's been going on, um, when you see that bait like that, you really have to get out of the bait. Um, it seems to me like those bigger fish have been setting like whatever section that bait's in, they'll be within about 30 yards of where that bait ends. Gotcha. So they're setting, it's kind of like they're sitting off there just staging and waiting to go feed and then they'll feed and then go back out of it. And, and it's probably because we probably saw why they're doing that. I'd say these muskie are just patrolling that and they want to yeah. stay out of them. So, oh, yeah. I seen that one. <laughs> oh, that was you hit my line. There's a nice fish. That's a good one. I think I didn't want them slab bites. Man, those fish are cold to the touch. We're dealing with uh, 38 degree water temperatures. Um, so just uh, really cold, cold water out here. But And right now we're hitting the standing timber anywhere from 35 to 39 foot of water. So we're, we're hitting these pretty deep. Uh, just looking at the life scope, a lot of fish down there, a lot of smaller ones, but you can see the big ones in there. And we're having to sort through the smaller ones to get a few of the big ones, but we caught a couple nice fish today. Yeah. Another good one. Another good one. Press when you get them in the tongue. Yeah. On the bottom <laughs> part of the lip, it's a lot of times indicative of kind of a finicky bite. Stay right there. More Brush Pile Fishing action is next. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these outstanding sponsors. b and Poles, the number one crappie pole company in the world. War Eagle, built for hunters who love to fish. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Slime Line, catch the fever. Crappie Magnet, sore lip them all. Mossback Fish Habitat. Cornfield Crappie Gear, quality products built in the USA. That other oh, one's there coming comes. up, yeah, it's a better fish anyway, I believe. Shoot, I'm gonna try to get you up there and keep you vertical. There you go. Oh, man. That's another thing that's been going on here. If, uh, seems like they really want it vertical right now. Um, you know, if you toss out and you kind of swim back to the boat, right? Um, I just I've had a hard time hooking up with fish like that. But they want to uh, straight real, up and down, straight up and down. And so then one thing you got to watch as you're doing this, you know, is your boat control. Uh, you know, you get to looking down at your graph too much and then forget that the winds may be pushing you to where your line's going out. You know, and you're no longer vertical and you don't even really notice it unless you're paying a lot of attention. But For the guys tournament fishing that are using a live scope, which a lot of them are now, it's actually harder for two guys to fish using one live scope unit because the guy controlling the boat, basically you're, you're single, you're targeting single fish and it's hard for two people now to do that, especially if the one guy's controlling the boat how, how hard have you seen that as, as far as has it affected you and your dad? There's a good black. black there. Um, it, it certainly has, Russ. It's a, it's a ball game changer. It's, uh, it's taken quite a bit of adjustment to, to get into it. Um, you know, it, it, this name of this game is boat control. Yeah. And the guy that's running the trolling motor, you know, obviously has the advantage of knowing, uh, you know, what he's wanting to do, where he's wanting to go, uh, kind of his next move, uh, and the uh, the other guy doesn't know that. You know, it's hard for him to anticipate all the time where where he needs to put his lure. Where you know, it's, it's 
definitely a different ball game. Uh, it plays to the hand of the guy that's running the trolling motor all the time. Well, and that's why you're starting to see a lot of single anglers winning these tournaments. Yeah. And I think that's a trend that you're going to see keep going. I think you're correct on that, Russ. I actually presented real well to a couple of fish right there that I should have caught, and that tells me uh, I think my lure selection's wrong. There's feeding windows with these fish here more so than a lot of others you'll see. It seems like a certain time of day really makes a difference. Well, we've got a front coming in this afternoon, so hopefully as that front approaches, that'll turn them on a little bit too. That's a dandy right there. That's a good fish. Chase that away, didn't he? Finally got him. He chased that away. That's the first fish all day that's been kind of a Roman fish that I've been able to that get. That got you know, him, yeah. yeah. So, just a pretty fish. It's about a, yeah, 11, 11 inch fish or so, 11 and a quarter. Here's a brush pile fishing tip. Well, folks, I hope you're enjoying today's show here at Cave Run, Kentucky with Chris Mann. And you know, we don't have a lot of wind, but just enough breeze that it's, you know, a little tricky on controlling the boat in this timber. And today's key is definitely boat control. You're seeing Chris uh, really control the front end of that boat, dropping that jig exactly where he needs it because these fish are not chasing anything. If you pitch out and let it fall, they're not going after it. You have to be straight vertical and right on top of that fish. And even then, many times they haven't hit it. So you are seeing uh, where it, we talked a lot of in the live scope shows that we've talked about, you know, boat control is critical. Today, you're actually seeing it with Chris. And uh, if he was sloppy with the boat control, he wouldn't be catching half the fish that he is. So again, I know we talk about it a lot, but today is when it really, really matters. More brush pile fishing action is next. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Crappie USA, Gill Fishing, I Hold Jigs, Blue Storm Life Jackets, Offshore Tackle, Power Pole, The American Crappie Trail, Driftmaster Rod Holders, Smooth Move Seats, Brush Pile Fishing Online Store, Grand Lake St. Mary's. You know, Chris, one of the things that I'm seeing is when we pull up to a tree uh, or some brush that's got the fish on it, you know, we're not seeing, you know, three, four big fish on a tree either. It's one big fish and it's a lot of small ones. You know, a couple things to always think about and consider. Uh, this is probably a good time of the day for us to uh, start changing up our colors a little bit here. Um, you know, we've, we're finding these fish are not aggressive at all. Uh, so giving them a you know, a different look uh, may make all the difference in the world. Uh, so here in a little while, we'll probably change uh, change up a little on some colors and see if we can't find that magic color uh, to get these fish a little bit more excited. There, there we, we go. go. That's a good one too. That's a good fish. Good job. That's a good one. Now he was pretty aggressive. No color, of course, with 39 degree water. They're cold, and like Chris said earlier, man, they're cold to the touch. You can feel it. You know, folks, that last fish, we talked about boat control, and the wind's definitely picked up. So Chris, is the, the motor's facing forward most of the time, so he's going to have to flip out in front. With me being behind, you don't get as many flips, but when that trolling motor's out to the side, that's when you take advantage and get down there when you can. So it is something to think about. We talk about all the advantages with the live scope, but there's some things that you gotta work around. And uh, especially if you're a tournament angler, sometimes it's gonna come down, we talk about this in the Tommy Ezel show, to just one guy fishing and one guy being the net man. Yeah. Didn't know if I could get down to him quick enough. Another one on the old crappie magnet. Chris, speaking of which, not too long ago, you took a job with crappie magnet. Can you tell the folks at home exactly what your job is? Sure. Um, 
started, I guess, in January of 2020. Um, uh, Jeff Smith contacted me and uh, and asked if I'd be interested in coming on as the uh, director of pro staff and advertising for Crappie Magnet. So um, I took that role on in January, and man, it has been a blast. I've enjoyed it immensely. Um, you know, working for a company that uh, had sponsored my dad and I on the tournament trail for several years, and uh, you know, we just totally believe in uh, their product, uh, the quality of the product. Um, we believe in the mission of the uh, company, and uh, just really couldn't be happier uh, in the role that I'm in right now. So you have to work in the fishing industry, man. That's tough. Well, it's uh, after working uh, for state government for 18 years, um, it's been a pleasant <laughs> <laughs> change of pace. Let's put it that way. Um, I enjoyed serving the Commonwealth uh, for, for many years, but uh, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm enjoying this a whole lot more. So, Well, I'm happy for you, and I'll tell you what, this past winter it was good working the boat shows with you. We had a good time. We sure did. Uh, now, COVID's going to kind of take care of things this year. We ain't going to be doing much yeah. of that, but hopefully things get back to normal. Yeah, I hope so too, Russ. So just a... You know, a lot of people in this country right now that are, that are really hurting. Um, you know, uh, many have lost loved ones or acquaintances they know, and, um, you know, a lot of, I think, fear and trepidation about the future, you know, as far as financially and all that right. in the country. And um, so uh, it has been a blessing to actually work in an industry now where, uh, you know, we just we we really just try to help people catch fish, and and that's fun. Yeah. And uh, I think you you probably can attest to this as well as I. In a year when we've had all these struggles and worries, there's been days it's just been really nice just to go to the lake. Yes. Social distance, uh, not worry about all the stuff that's going on, and just focus on some fun and fishing. And you um, know, fishing. When they put, first put everybody on quarantine and everything, fishing is one of the first things that you were allowed to do again. And I think that's led to a resurgence in the industry in general. And now, the Brush Pile Gear Check. Hey guys, Chris here with Brush Pile Gear Check. I wanted to tell you a little bit about what we were doing today, uh, what kind of equipment we were using to catch these fish. So uh, I was using the 5.5 five Sharpshooter Rod by BM Poles. Um, I had the uh, crappie magnet on. Uh, we mixed up colors just a little bit today, but we used the 1 8 ounce double cross jig head, uh, tipped it with slab bites every time that we dropped down today. Um, Russ, uh, he was also using his BM rod today, uh, the 8 foot Russ Bailey Signature Series. Um, he had that uh, 1 8 ounce jig as well. Uh, he happened to be using mermaid color, was the uh, better color toward the end of the day for him. Uh, he had the slime line on uh, in six pound test, and that's what we used to get him today. We've had about every condition today. It's been cloudy, it's been sunny, it went back cloudy. Yeah. And we've tried to fish. We've got so many bends in these channels here, we've been able to fish There's a good one. in the wind, out of the wind. Oh, yeah. Finally got him to hit. Yeah, had to work that fish forever, Russ. <laughs> Man, they are just, they are finicky today. Finicky bite. I don't know, just a good, good chunky fish. Solid fish, not a giant, but uh, good eater. There we go. Another good fish. I'll tell you what, Chris, I know it's getting tougher for you to try to control the boat for two of us. <laughs> and uh, it's getting a little bit late anyway, so my cameraman's giving me dirty looks, so we may have to take off on that fish. But I'll tell you what, man, as always, it's a pleasure not only fishing with you, but the conversation. And you know, we talked about you working with Crappie Magnet now, and you do so much in the promotion industry. If someone wanted to get a hold of you, Chris, for some info, or they've got questions on product, how can they do that? Sure. Um, they can always reach me at uh, chris at troutmagnet.com okay. um, or they can call my cell phone 859-585-4091. Um, we're always trying to help folks, whether it be, you know, just maybe giving them some advice on where to fish and how to fish. 
Um, you know, we hit a lot of how to use our products. Okay. Uh, folks are constantly wanting to know, hey, you guys uh, have a full lineup of products for crappie fishing. Um, you know, can you tell me a little bit of information about how to apply that uh, to my body of water, uh, how to help me catch more fish. So we are all about trying to help folks catch more fish and learn. Uh, we want folks to enjoy this great sport that we get Absolutely. to enjoy. And um, I know this, uh, appreciate you guys, Russ, with Brush Pile Fishing, all you do. You. Uh, you guys are an open book about teaching and training and helping, and it's great stuff. So. Well, I'll tell you what, today was a great day in the water. You know, we didn't catch a lot of big fish, and it was tough on you to try to control the boat for both of us. But I'll tell you what, any chance I get to fish with you, I enjoy it, buddy, and I appreciate you Same joining to you, us. Russ. Same so, to you. Folks, Cave Run, a couple days before Christmas. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And you stay tuned, because we'll be back next week with Brush Pile Fishing. Oh, uh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's me, man. <laughs> That's the bad thing about flipping <laughs> out in front. Yeah, I'd swung that pole over on you, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he's no, still he's there. still on there. Let's hand line him and get him out of here. Get him out of the picture and then I'm gonna, I don't know, Russ, I think it may be a deal we had to perk you off. Now, Chris? Yes, sir? Keep your reel away from my line. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> Knock it off with all that wise business.